Tonight I got my first Prime War Wardrobe shipment. You can get up to eight items and you pay nothing for it to be shipped to you. You only pay for what you keep. You're actually going and picking up, picking all the items yourself that you want to try. And it's not as straightforward as you think it would be. A lot of items weren't on Prime Wardrobe that even if you clicked through Prime Wardrobe and clothing and you went to a specific thing, maybe your size or the color that you wanted wasn't available in Prime Wardrobe. There's a lot of difference in, in prices based on the size and the color of the product. That part of shopping if in this experience and picking the clothes that I wanted in Prime Wardrobe was annoying. <laughs> it was extremely annoying. I decided that I was going to look for black cocktail dresses. Um, I wanted to spend $50 or less and Larkin Row kept um, popping up in the search results. If you're not aware, Larkin Row is a clothing brand that is owned by Amazon. So the dresses that I ordered were all under $50 the day that I ordered them. I went back in um, today. I received my prime wardrobe and I'm so I'm going to go take a look and see what these prices actually are for these items. Now, the price on three of the dresses increased and the price on two of them decreased from the day that I ordered them. So out of eight items, five of the items, the price has changed since I ordered it. So be really careful when using prime wardrobe. Be mindful that price fluctuations happen because Amazon will not do a price adjustment on the item if you decide to keep it. What they're going to recommend is that you return the item and then you can order it at the lower price. Well, who knows by the time you actually order it, then it, the price may have increased. So um, instead of unboxing this bag here, which isn't super glamorous, I'm just going to put the clothes on and review them and tell you about the prices. Um, the goal is to find one of these dresses that I really like. Um, they're all very different. Next time you see me, I will probably actually not look like this because I think I'm going to wait until Saturday. Another great thing about this, another great thing about Prime Wardrobe compared to Stitch Fix is that you actually get a whole week to keep the clothes. I have the whole entire weekend to film these, um, to film these and I'll probably film trying on the clothes this weekend and still be able to have the video up in time for you to tell me what to keep or what you like on me. So um, I welcome your feedback. Let me know what you think. This one is the lace sleeve shift dress. Has a little lace detail there in the sleeve. It is 100% polyester. So this is pretty hot um, and but I do, I do like the way that it looks. I bought it for $18.13. This is one of the dresses that increased in price since the time that I had it in my prime wardrobe. As of today, it's $55 on Amazon Prime. This would not have even made it into my box because I did dresses that were only $50 or less. It has a um, slit right here on the side, both sides. I wish there was some kind of zipper. This is actually a pullover cocktail dress. And this is a size small. I am a generally size six, sometimes four in a dress. And so four and six were both smalls for Larkin Row in this dress. So I went with that. I wouldn't mind trying it in a medium. I feel like it's a little tight up here at the top. Um, I'm a 34C and just, just a little tight, but other than that, pretty happy with it. Okay, so this dress um, is the Larkin Row Women's Holder. Uh, I got this dress for $26.93. This dress increased in price since I ordered it, and it is now $46.93 as of today. Um, it is 100% rayon, and they recommend a hand wash on this. So the construction of it, I think that it would probably hold up in the washing machine, washing machine on a gentle cycle. It doesn't, there isn't really anything on it that's going to fall off. So I think it would be fine. Um, they call this a shark bite hem. 
down here at the bottom. Hope you can see the whole entire dress. And it has a keyhole here at the top. The halter does have a button attachment here. And it, com it comes with an extra button as well. But button attachment here. The material's pretty wrinkly. So that's something to keep in mind. This would require some maintenance, some steaming. It's not going to just be ready to go after you clean it. And that's the kind of material you're looking for. I do like the bottom and I'm really happy with the neckline here. This, I don't know, I'm not really for sure if it's supposed to be this baggy or not. It feels comfortable. So I do like this. This is the sleeveless knit. It's a pullover dress. It is 95% rayon and 5% spandex, and this is a machine washable dress. This feels like an everyday dress to me. Um, it feels like more of a running errands dress than a cocktail dress. It, the material feels like something you would wear to the gym. This, and this cost $44.50, so I did expect it to be a little bit more in construction along in line with something fancier than what this actually feels like. If you're considering this dress and you're in between sizes, I would probably just go with the size down because it's stretchy and it's going to fit. This is the cap sleeve eyelet fit and flare dress. And I got this for $29.83. And this dress is so cute. It has the zipper back. I really like the shape and design of this dress. Let's get a little, we'll get a little bit closer so you can actually see the material. 53% nylon and 47% cotton. It is recommended that you dry clean this dress. The only problem with this dress is that it's black. It doesn't really look like um, a cocktail dress to me, just in, in um, the actual pattern of it. I would actually prefer this dress to be maybe in a pink or a white or something a little bit brighter. I think that this would be a great, um, a great spring wedding dress because it's just so dang cute. But it doesn't really, the shape and design to me doesn't scream Christmas holiday party. It's more, um, I think it's more of a spring dress, so obviously not in black. So. I got this for $29.83 and it has raised in price on Amazon to $32.64 since I ordered it. Um, I do really, really like it. It doesn't feel too hot. Looks like it could go um, in mild weather, cold weather if you, well, eh, I see, I don't really think this is a tights kind of dress. I think it's more of a spring dress, which is why it doesn't work in black. Um, so yeah, definitely a mild weather spring dress. Not loving it in black, but do really like this dress. I do think it's cute how it, it's form-fitting in the middle, A-line, love this neckline, love these sleeves. I really like this. Okay, next dress. So, this cut might look familiar. It is nearly the exact same cut as the lace shift dress. Um, this one is also 100% polyester. It has the flutter, the flutter cuff. This, the name of this dress is actually flutter cuff. It does not have the slit on the side. And this one actually you zip into. So zipper back. The construction on this one feels better than the lace cuff dress. This dress was $50 exactly and when I bought it and as of today it is still $50. So it looks like this is probably the price for this dress. The construction of it is really good. Um, I do like it. It's not tight up here either. I think this is a size small and I think that this is the right size for me. 100% polyester just like the other one but this one just feels very different. It is pretty hot though, so definitely a cooler weather dress. 
This is the short sleeve eyelet tass tassel shift dress. Um, it has tassels on the bottom of it and tassels on the sleeves. It is that material that you can, there is a slip, slip, and you can see through. Um, it has a button at the top and you pull this dress over. Um, I don't really love the way that it fits on me because um, it's so straight. It, there's just this extra material. I prefer for it to fit on the smallest part of my waist. This was $49 and it is still $49. It is 100% cotton, but a hand wash is recommended on this. And I, I think it's because of these tassels. They seem pretty delicate. There's not a lot of um, string holding them on here. And uh, I wouldn't really risk it in the washing machine because I think if one of them came off, it would make the whole look feel kind of weird. Um, it doesn't feel too hot. Um, you could wear this in, in cooler weather or mild weather, slightly hot, maybe 80s. That's probably about as far as you want to go with this cotton. But um, it's, it's a cute little dress, but again, this eyelet, this eyelet material and these tassels, fun. And I think the black just takes a little fun out of the dress. So I think this is more of a spring dress and it would be better maybe in an orange or pink or green, um, some brighter color. Um, it being in black, Taking a spring dress and making it black to me doesn't make it a cocktail dress. So this doesn't feel like a cocktail dress to me. It feels like something that should be worn in the spring in a brighter color. All right, this is the sleeveless bow front. Um, there's a lot of material down here at the bottom and I do like the cut. I like the cinched waist and there's also a lot of material here. If you're in between sizes, definitely go with the size down um, because this is Kind of a larger and more forgiving dress. Um, the only part of this that I really don't like construction wise is the bow and this isn't uh, this isn't this dress's fault but I am a two bunny ear person have been since kindergarten don't judge can't change um, and that just makes my bows look weird so the dress is gonna annoy me because of my own reasons so uh, um, it does look a lot nicer, I think, on than I thought it did when I saw it on the model on Amazon. This was $20.47 for me. The price has dropped to $18.26, but I noticed that in a small, it wasn't available in Prime Wardrobe anymore. If you are a small that's in the size 4 range, you could probably even try this in an extra small. It's, it's that forgiving, and there's that much extra material. It's a pullover dress, and there's a button up here at the top, which I didn't even button, what do you know? Easy dress to get into, 100% cotton, um, and but it is pretty wrinkly, so you would have to do some maintenance on this dress, like after washing it, in order for it to be ready to go. But yeah, pretty cute dress, um, and I do think black works well for this dress. Okay, last dress. This is the 3D stripe sheath dress. Now, when I was pulling all of the clothes out of the bag, this is the one that I thought that I would like the most because the construction of it is really nice. This one feels the highest quality out of all of the dresses that I received. Um, I wasn't super excited about the zipper, um, but it still looks like a nice dress coming out of the back. It's 68% rayon, 32% nylon. A hand wash is recommended on this, but, and that is probably because of how, how small the thread is on these three, in between these stripes that make them the 3D stripe. So if that snags on something, that, that would be a disaster for this dress. But maybe if you have a really great washing machine, ours is kind of old, um, you would be fine. But when I bought this, it was $49.49 and it has dropped $4.27. It's now in the $45 range. I got this in a size six and usually that's about the size I am. Sometimes I can even wear a size four, but you know, maybe that's just vanity sizing. Um, but this dress, let me tell you, it was, it's a step into dress with the zip back. This thing, I had a hard time getting it over these these thighs, let me tell you. So, um, and 
I think it just doesn't fit me very well in the middle. So I would want a size 8 in this one, which is probably worth me trying because I do like it. The construction of the dress is really nice, so I do like it. I'm sad that it doesn't fit me quite the way that I want. It does fit really great up here at the top, it just doesn't fit around this curve right here very well. So because the price is continuously dropping, it's dropped Actually, the first time I looked at it a couple of days ago, it had dropped $2 and it's dropped two more dollars since then. I might put a price watch on this one, um, on this dress, to see if it drops even more. And if it pops up in a size 8, I may ask for it again in a different pride wardrobe to actually try it. Those are all the dresses. Let me know which one you liked the most. I have this prime wardrobe for a couple more days. And um, let me know what you think.